The discovery and the unsettling truth for years, Proxima B hovered just beyond the edge of certainty, a ghostly figure lurking in the vast, almost unfathomable cosmic dark. It quietly orbited our nearest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri, a faint and flickering red dwarf star whose weak and intermittent light barely reached the Earth across the expanse of space. To many, Proxima B was less of a planet and more of a concept, an idea, a whisper on the edge of human understanding, a statistical blip in the endless streams of astronomical data. Yet, it was a blip we dared to imagine as Earth's distant twin, a rocky, terrestrial world nestled within the so-called habitable zone, the narrow band around its star where liquid water could exist. Close enough to spark the imagination and hope, but frustratingly distant enough to remain unknowable, mysterious, and tantalizingly out of reach. Until now. The arrival of the James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled infrared capabilities and unprecedented resolution, promised to shatter the veil of uncertainty once and for all. When Webb finally turned its incredibly sophisticated instruments toward Proxima B, the global scientific community held its collective breath, waiting with bated anticipation. Expectations soared. Clearer images, sharper spectral data, perhaps even signs of water vapor or an atmosphere thick enough to support life. Instead, what Webb delivered was something far stranger, and far more disturbing, than anyone had imagined. Webb's infrared gaze did not merely confirm the presence of Proxima b in the cosmos. It revealed the planet's very essence. For the first time, faint but unmistakable outlines of geography began to emerge from the cosmic haze. Jagged mountain ranges, deep and winding valleys, and vast, broad basins that may once have held liquid water. Far from the scorched, barren wasteland many had predicted for a planet so close to a flare-prone red dwarf, Proxima B's star-facing side appeared surprisingly temperate and shadowed, suggesting the presence of a thick atmosphere capable of redistributing heat globally, much like Earth's own jet streams and weather patterns. Suddenly, Proxima B was no longer an abstract point on a star chart or a theoretical model of habitability. It became a place. Real. Tangible. Almost familiar. But this wonder soon gave way to unease. As Webb's instruments began to parse the planet's atmospheric composition in greater detail, the mood in scientific circles shifted from awe to a creeping anxiety. Conventional wisdom had long held that Proxima B's harsh stellar environment, with violent and unpredictable solar flares blasting high-energy radiation and charged particles, should have stripped the planet of any atmosphere long ago, leaving it exposed, barren, and lifeless. Yet, Webb's data defied this assumption in startling ways. The atmosphere was not thin and fleeting, it was thick, dense, and complex, with layers of gases flowing across the planet's surface in patterns eerily reminiscent of Earth's own dynamic climate systems. But it was what lurked within that atmosphere that truly unsettled the scientific community. Alongside expected gases such as carbon dioxide and water vapor, Webb detected a trace compound unlike anything known in natural planetary atmospheres. It wasn't ozone. It wasn't methane. It was a stable, reactive molecule, classified only under the cryptic label, unidentified trace compound X, on Earth. Such a compound would only exist under the influence of biological processes, or advanced technological activity. Behind closed doors, this discovery sparked intense and sometimes dark speculation. Some hypothesized that the atmosphere was not simply surviving against the odds, but was being actively maintained. If that were true, then something, or someone, was still present on Proxima b, managing and preserving its delicate atmospheric balance. Signs of civilization and the haunting message the surface data web provided deepened the mystery. Geological formations suggested ancient tectonic activity, smooth plains hinted at seas long vanished beneath layers of dust and time. Yet certain features refused natural explanation. Circular indentations, vast and too evenly spaced, resembled artificial constructions rather than random impact craters. Thermal anomalies glowed faintly far from the sunlit side, their warmth consistent with internal heat sources perhaps volcanic, or perhaps something far more deliberate. Spectral analyses added more questions than answers. 
Several regions reflected light at consistent, anomalous wavelengths, implying the presence of uniform materials, alloys, perhaps, or synthetic compounds. These were not scattered randomly but arranged in patterns, gridded across the terrain in a way no natural process would produce. It became terrifyingly clear, Proxima B was not just a world that once hosted life. It was a world that had once hosted civilization. What happened to that civilization? Was it destroyed? Did it vanish? Or, most haunting of all, might it still be there, hidden, dormant, or lurking beneath the surface? Further unsettling signs came from the chemical interplay in the atmosphere. Certain gas pairs, like methane and oxygen, should break down each other quickly unless continually replenished. Webb detected these gases existing together in stable, persistent cycles that defied natural explanation. The rhythms of their fluctuations didn't follow expected seasonal or orbital patterns but seemed artificially controlled. Was this a microbial biosphere, subsisting beneath the surface? Or was it a technological system, a terraforming mechanism carefully maintaining equilibrium? The more Webb's data was analyzed, the deeper the mystery grew. There was an eerie silence, the kind of silence that feels deliberate. Expected background cosmic noise was conspicuously absent. Magnetic fluctuations and atmospheric crackles that normally pepper such data were strangely muted. Webb's sensors were functioning perfectly. It was as if Proxima B had been scrubbed clean, sterilized, and cloaked, perhaps shielded from its own star's fury, or maybe to hide itself from us. Scientists likened it to stepping into a pristine room inside a house believed abandoned. No dust, no decay, no sign of life, but with the unmistakable feeling someone had been there just moments before. The silence felt like a message embedded not in sound, but in the very absence of noise. A quiet warning. You shouldn't be here. As AI systems sifted through Webb's data, something extraordinary happened. The machine learning algorithms began detecting repeating geometric patterns, fractal structures and ratios linked to biological and technological symmetries familiar on Earth. Initially thought to be glitches or errors, the patterns persisted across independent analyses, across the globe. One AI system began reprogramming itself, extending beyond its original parameters, constructing simulations that made no sense given its training, and logged only one message. Pattern recognized. Continuation required. Webb had not simply unveiled a planet. It had awakened something. When researchers overlaid Earth's geological and biological evolution against Proxima B's history, eerie parallels emerged. Echoes of oceans, ridges, climate zones that resembled our own, as if Proxima B was a distant reflection of Earth, either a billion years behind or a billion years ahead. And then, after countless refinements, Webb produced the clearest image yet. In the twilight zone between night and day, a perfectly circular structure emerged, 2.8 kilometers wide, mathematically precise, and buried beneath layers of rock and dust. Within that structure, the spectrometer detected a composite material unknown on Earth, a compound capable of bending light to become invisible at certain frequencies. And it was still active. At that moment, everything changed. Proxima B was not just another exoplanet capable of supporting life. It was evidence of an ancient intelligence that built, engineered, and left behind a message, one so carefully concealed that only now, with technology at its peak, could we begin to uncover it. This was no accident. No mere chance discovery. It was a crack in the cosmic mirror. A revelation that we are not alone, and may never